Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you a little plugin called Tiny MCE Advanced. Now, this is a plugin that extends the functionality of a WordPress page and post editor. And what it does is it adds a bunch of buttons that aren't there. Some, some buttons even that I think should be there by default, but they aren't. So just to show you what I'm talking about, here we are in the WordPress dashboard. If we hover over posts, or you can hover over pages as well, and then click on add new. And then what we see here, this bar up here, is called the tiny MCE. And you have to make sure you're on the visual tab, there's a different bar on the text tab. And the tiny MCE advanced doesn't affect the text one as much it affects the visual one. So we can upgrade these buttons that we have here. There aren't very many. And one of the ones I think is missing that should be there is underline. Bold, italic, where's the underline? You think that should be there by default, but it's not. And this plugin can put that back in there for you. So we're gonna install this plugin right now. We have to go to plugins, hover over it, click on add new, type in tiny MCE advanced. And then this first plugin on the top right, is the one we want. Click on install now and then click on activate plugin and it adds a menu option under the settings menu called tiny MCE advanced and that's where we want to go and this is where we add functions to our MCE editor. So this is how the editor looks currently or not currently this is this is partially the editor menu currently on the, the pages it doesn't have these file edit insert view format buttons. Those will be added in by this plugin. But we can add buttons to these menus by simply dragging and dropping from this unused buttons box into these fields. So for example, we want to add underline. So I'm going to put underline right after bold. And maybe, just maybe, I want to have the quotes first. And you can drag and drop and rearrange whatever you want and put it anywhere. I want to have the table on the second bar and I want to put cut on this bar and you can drag and drop and you can figure however you want it. What I recommend you do if you don't know what all these are, most of them are self-explanatory, but for example anchor, you may not know that adds an HTML anchor to a page and you may not know what that is, but if, if you want to get the full functionality of this plugin, I would just drag and drop all of these buttons into these bars and just try it out. Click on these things and just try out what they do and see what happens. I'm just going to copy these all in here. I'm going to fast forward this video. All right, so now they're all in there. They're not organized at all. I just want to get them all in so I can go into the editor, try them out, and then I can remove the ones I don't need to keep it nice and clean and decluttered. So I have them all in there now. Click on Save Changes to save our changes. And then I'm going to show you a couple more options that we have here before we go back to the post page. We have list style options, which adds options when you're creating a list. The, the editor, the WordPress editor itself, has very few options when you're adding either an ordered list or an unordered list. This extends those options. A context menu is one that appears when you right click on something. So inside the default editor, when you right click, you get a regular internet browser menu that shows up. If you choose the context menu, you get a WordPress editor specific menu that shows up when you right click. And I like that option, so I keep that or I turn that on. I turn on the link option because it extends the actual link option that you have in the editor. So I turn that on as well. Then we have some advanced options that you can mess with if you want to or not. The first one here, you can add CSS to customize how the editor in the back end itself appears. And this second one is about the CSS as well. You can stop it from removing the P tags and, or the paragraph tags and the, the line break tags, which is something that happens when you switch back and forth with the text editor. And it's kind of a pain. So if you go from the visual to the text, it, it changes the HTML code when you do that. And it's a real pain. And the second one, replace the font size, or the, sorry, the, the fourth one, replace the font sizes to what you see here. You can choose that option if that's what you want to do. And then enable pasting of image. This only works in Safari and Firefox, but it's really handy. It means you can go and copy an image off another web page by just clicking right click and then copy image and then paste it directly into your post. 
Normally you'd have to save the image file and then upload the image. With this, you can copy the image right into the post. It's really handy, but it only works for Safari and Firefox. So after you set all the changes you want, click on Save Changes. Before we go back to our page to see how the editor appears, it's important to note that this bar that you see here at the very top, this will be the bar that's displayed at the top of the page. And so all the items that you add to this bar up here are going to be visible like this on the page. These other three down below are going to be added to their respective menus. So into the File menu, Edit menu, Insert View, Format, Table, Tools menus. That's where these ones are going to go. And this, will, this, own, this bar up here is the only one that's visible at the actually visible like this as buttons. So make sure you put the ones that you want to have visible like this into that menu and all the others will be added to their respective menus just above. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So if we go back to posts and then add new or go into any post and click on edit, we see that we have our that, that bar that we had to spoke of at the top, the only ones visible, and then everything else is added to these menus. So, you can, so here's the, the anchor one we spoke about specifically earlier, but all of these entries in all of these menus, or most of the entries in all these menus, are found on those three lower rows on the, in the settings for the tiny MCE editor. So if you find that you use one of these menu items a lot, like say Superscript, you may want to have that moved right into this bar here so it's easily accessible. And you do that by going back to the tiny MCE advanced, Find superscript, which is this one, drag and drop it into this bar. I'm going to put it right beside the italics. Click on Save Changes. If I go back into the editor, the superscript button is now right here. And it still appears in this menu as well. So you can always find the buttons in the menu. And then this adds it to, to that row. What we just did adds it to this row so it's more easily accessible. So in this video we learned how to install and use the Tiny MCE Advanced plugin which extends the functionality of the WordPress editor and it's really quite awesome. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share on social media, and check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.